Our story begins with Vavados, a human who's grown so powerful that the rest of humankind began calling him the Demon Lord. Many grew to see him as a monster, both fearing and respecting his overwhelming influence. As such, Barbados feels alienated from his fellow humans, hoping his fate will change in his next life. He decides to reincarnate 3,000 years later as an average 10-year-old child named Ardmore Meteor, the son of a seemingly ordinary couple from the countryside. Unfortunately, the study of magic has declined significantly since his life as Varvados. So, while his powers in this new life will be considered average, in the past his strength still overshadows everyone in this new era. But despite being a genius mage, Odd proves himself to be just as socially inept as anime fans. All the children he tries to befriend simply run away from him because he comes off as too creepy. But on one particular day, Odd comes across a young elf girl named Irina fighting a wolf in the forest. After watching the girl slay the beast, Odd tries to strike up a conversation with her. However, everything he says just seems to scare her off more and more. As such, he decides to bluntly ask her to be his friend, but she refuses and runs away right into the arms of her father, or Hyde, who just so happens to be great friends with Ord's parents. Seeing this, Ord believes that Irina and him are destined to become great friends just like their parents, which leads him to try to befriend her over and over again, but is unfortunately always met with rejection. After some time passes, a large group of goblins suddenly invade the city and begin attacking Aarti's father, and all hide fends off the goblins while Art goes in search of Irina who has still not yet returned from the mountains. Both men are shocked to see Art using a flight spell, as this is considered one of the many lost skills. Meanwhile, as Irina is surrounded by goblins, she thinks back to how she was bullied and betrayed by her old friends, and how life just isn't worth it anymore. She drops her weapon to the ground and tells the goblins that they can just kill her. Right as Arena accepts her fate, Art arrives and eliminates the goblins in a matter of seconds with just a couple of spells. He then promises Arena that if she'll be his friend, he'll stay by her side forever, and Arena finally accepts his friendship. Several years later, a fully grown Arena surprises Art by waking up next to him and suggests that they enroll in the Academy of Magic together. Once they arrive at the academy, Headmaster Gold immediately enrolls Art and Irina as they are the children of the three great heroes. All hide in Art's parents, Art had no idea that his parents were actually legendary heroes who once slew an evil god. This draws a lot of unwanted attention to Art, who just wants to live a simple life as a nobody. Later on in class, both Art and Irina are bombarded by students who want to be their friends and learn from them. Suddenly, they witness a young succubus named Ginny being bullied by Geraldo, the son of a noble family who claims that Ginny is his because she is inferior to him. Art then steps in and demands that the girl be treated fairly and that Geraldo apologize to her. This leads to Geraldo proposing a duel between them to settle the matter while boasting about his lineage. Just then, their teacher, Olivia, enters the room. Art immediately recognizes her as one of his generals from his previous life and hopes that she doesn't notice that he's actually the reincarnated demon lord. Intrigued by Ord, Olivia decides to oversee the duel between him and Geraldo, much to Aarti's displeasure, as he must now find a way to beat Geraldo without Olivia noticing his true identity. During their duel, Art realizes that Geraldo has been using ordinary spells but has given them impressive names to make himself seem greater than he is. This irritates Art, who decides to show Geraldo what truly powerful magic really looks like, leaving Geraldo completely outmatched and with no choice but to surrender and apologize. Unfortunately, in his frustration, Art had completely forgotten about Olivia, who soon asks him how he was able to cast two powerful spells at once. Flustered, Ard says that double casting is a simple thing that anyone can do but Olivia refutes that double casting is actually a lost skill and no one in the modern age can do it. Despite this, Olivia backs off but claims she'll learn the truth. Next day, Olivia sends the class to hunt monsters in a dungeon, which leads Art and Irina to team up with Ginny. But due to years of Geraldo's bullying, Ginny suffers from a severe lack of confidence, and she feels as though she's just holding Art and Irina back. 
To help boost her confidence and prove that she's not useless, Art teaches her script magic, a lost skill that he invented in his previous life that makes casting spells faster. Ginny gets the hang of it pretty quickly, but the trio then falls through a trapdoor, putting them face to face with the dungeon's boss, a powerful Minotaur. Despite the girls being frightened by this encounter, Art stops the Minotaur's attack with a single finger. He then uses this opportunity to teach the girls more about how script magic works. With the boss nearly dead, Art encourages Ginny to finish him off, in hopes that this will help her gain some confidence. Ginny thinks back to how she used to hope for someone like the demon Lord Valvatos to save her, but she realizes that she doesn't need to be saved anymore, as she proceeds to beat the Minotaurs with her script magic. After defeating the Minotaur, Ginny feels pride in herself for the first time and is happy to have made two new friends. After returning to the surface, Art tries to leave, only to be stopped by Olivia, who wants to have a nice long chat with him.